Scott McGill with Ecotone. I'm here with Goose. This morning we're at First Mine Branch in uh, Baltimore County. This is a stream restoration project that Ecotone's been working on for several years. The reach is about 2,000 feet in length. Um, drainage area is about two square miles. This is about one month after construction. And uh, just gonna talk about a few features of this project that uh, we thought were compelling and that we can learn from for future projects. Several years ago, I came to this property and I was dismayed by the condition of the, the stream. There was a lot of issues with bank erosion and legacy sediment and other things that, that uh, indicated to me that restoration would be really beneficial for this, for this reach. Bank erosion was um, the major issue. We had banks six to seven feet in height. I could see that there was a tremendous amount of legacy sediment um, that could be removed as part of an overall restoration project. So in this project, we tried to constrain ourselves early in the design process to eliminate, not eliminate, but, but minimize to the greatest extent that we could the amount of material that we're bringing into the site. So. We didn't want to bring in any gravel. We didn't want to bring in erosion control fabric. So really, the only things that we brought in on a dump truck were the stone for the stabilized construction entrance, and we brought in some straw for stabilization at the end of the project. But everything else, we obtained on site. Grass here was, was uh, obtained from a sod grow area that we set up on the floodplain a year before we started construction. So that when we came out to construction, all we had to do was scoop it up with a skid loader, place it on the banks, and we had immediate vegetative stability. And you know, you can see after only a month or two, this is growing into a, a lush wetland environment. The gravel in all the, the riffle areas, we screened on site. So we didn't bring any rock in for this project. I think we brought in one load of rock for uh, one structure toward the bottom of the project, that was it. Everything else was just screened, and it, we, we screened everything we need in about one to two days during the early stages of construction. All the wood you see here downstream in the, uh, in the pool areas, and even in the riffles, we obtained on site, and we'll show you there, there's wood throughout the floodplain that we think is, creates great diversity of habitat, fantastic roughness for high flows, and we integrated that into wetland areas outside of the, the active channel. We think that this project down the road is gonna be attractive to um, North American Beaver, who we think is gonna come in and make this project better. So we think this project has a lot of features that we can apply to other projects show others in the environmental restoration community what's possible and really create something that we can build upon for, for future projects.